I got him right here. What is up, Mappers? Mixing it up a little bit today. We're out here in the middle of the freaking day in the sun, and we're here at a little sewer swamp type deal. That's what we're doing today. We're bank fishing. We've been catching them on the boat really well, but I want to mix it up, do some bank fishing, fish some of the local creeks and stuff, and get out here and throw some topwater baits. It's time of year to go catch them on topwater, and namely, I want to try to catch some on some rat baits today. So we're gonna use this little rat bait right here. I can see, see that bass cruising right there, Cole? I can see freaking bass right back down there behind them. So we're gonna start off on this little creek, culvert sewer guy right here, try to catch some bass, see if they'll come up and eat this topwater rat. And uh, let me show you guys some of the baits we brought. I'm pretty excited for this today. They are all topwater baits. I'm trying to keep it kind of low profile and quiet down here because we don't have much water to fish back here behind us. Water looks pretty clean and sexy too, but here's our baits we brought today. We got the, they're kind of all hooked together per the usual, but we got an MS Slammer. We got this new guy I just got in the mail from Japan. Um, Evergreen Noisy Dotch Dicks? Docks? Docks. We'll call it Noisy Dicks. Got the old rat from last year, from the Zuma rat. And then a couple different frogs if it gets super, super grassy. Right here is not that grassy, so I'm going to start off with that little rat bait. Get eaten alive by mosquitoes and flies and stuff. And um, yeah, let's get this thing firing around, see if we can throw it way back up underneath there, which this is the perfect time of the day to do this. A lot of people think of it as a topwater bite in low light conditions first thing in the morning or late at night, when in reality, in the middle of the summer, it's 95 degree day like today, you can actually fire back as far as you can get up at some of these shade lines and draw them out. But we're going to start here. we got two or three other places in mind. Let's see if we can catch some slaw. All right, so we've got a little bit of current coming in right there on the other side of this dude. Throw Mr. Rat right up there. Swimming back. Oh, had one already. Oh my God, there's a freaking fishing line right there, Cole. I lost him because of that, I think. What sucks is I just go grab that, but spook all the damn fish that are in here. All right, first cast. I'd say we're doing all right at least. Got him that time, got him that time. <laughs> yes. Oh man, that's too much fun throwing up there in the freaking Narnia. Can't see it anymore. Look at that. Little Mr. Rat guy has the first culprit. I know there's much bigger ones in here than that though. So let's keep firing and see what we can make bite. What did I just hit? Oh, that was a fish? Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know, Cole. I'm just firing back there and uh, <laughs> letting him tell me if I have a fish on or not. I'll just ask you next time, Cole. I thought I like, I thought I hit something, but it was a fish just slurping it off the surface. Holy shit, that guy ate it deep. I have to get the pliers out for him. That is crazy. I got it, Cole. All right, two times thrown to Narnia and two fish and the tail's ripped. Awesome. Let's see if they'll eat it without a tail. I'm just a rat guy without a tail. All right, here comes fish. God. <laughs> okay, that's too much fun, Cole. I think that's illegal actually in several states. These aren't big dudes yet. I think there's definitely some, oh, that was almost bad. I got chicken titty juice all over my fingers. Don't worry, I'm not bleeding yet. I am going to be bleeding from all these damn mosquito bites on me though. So this is the Spro BBZ1, I think that's what it is, BBZ1 rat, which is not my favorite, but I hadn't caught a fish on it yet, so I wanted to use it. One thing is you can already tell the tail ripped off of them. So we are down a tail. I think it does come with a replacement tail, but it looks really good. The action's actually really good for a production bait. It's not like a super custom wood bait that's uh there's a lot of really badass wood rat baits on the market. You guys should comment your favorite wood rat. But for now, I'm just going to keep catching them on this little shitter guy. And maybe after a little bit, let's put on the big old 10 inch Nazuma rat. Maybe we'll get a better quality fish too. But um, good to come down here. Haven't been here yet this year. Obviously, probably not a spot we would go spend a lot of time at if it was. Um, cold outside this is like a strictly summer thing where you can come to these areas where we got some current over there and then of course we got tons of shade and the further I can throw this thing up there the more I can get bit we might actually have to go to the other side of it too and see if we can get bit over there as well 
So far though, so good. <laughs> Even without the tail, they don't care. I've actually had a better hookup ratio without. Yeah, there's like a legit sewer on the left side of this guy. Oh. <laughs> Dude, they're destroying it up underneath there. And me and Cole are just in here getting eaten alive ourselves by the flies. I don't know why we didn't think coming out to a damn place where you're around a bunch of creaky trees, weeds and stuff. Got it that time. Get out of there. That's a better one. Maybe. Skinny guy. Holy cow. That guy is like on his way out. At least he's still eating. That's I mean, that would be a keeper 15 incher in a tournament. I bet he don't even weigh like, he's like half a pound. Yeah. Paper thin. <laughs> Paper thin. Paper bass, not crappie. Paper bass. He's like, I'm not strong enough to swim away fast. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> Jesus. The old tailless rats getting her done. Oh, lost. Dude, they're just like nipping it. And they're not big, so that doesn't help. <laughs> and they have no strength to blow up because they're all skinny. I know there's big ones in here. Is that I'm a big one? <laughs> no. I'm talking like five pounders. We're going to go over to a spot here next where I've had some three and a half, four pounders. And I guarantee there's bigger. But for now, one of these little dudes, which firing up into the abyss of a sewer pipe culvert tunnel where there's sewage coming in both sides. Tough to tell, but actually a ways down there. You can see sewers, little tubes of sewers coming in. This'll do. I don't care how big they are. This is fantastic. Here's the old Nazuma rat. It's been a little bit too long, but this is a 10 and a half inch total length rat. I think it weighs about two and a half ounces. You can see, caught plenty of fish on it. Freaking whacked them in the video last year, but big and clacky. That subtle action that's so much more buoyant than just a piece of plastic. And that clacky wood noise is, uh, that's why this is better than a lot of the plastic rats in the market. This is how you know it's gonna be good coleslaw when there's this much poison ivy. Yeah, we're about to lay the damn wood. Oh, there's a bass right here. There's two. Cole, there's three following it. Dude, there's so many up here. I haven't fully casted yet, and I still might catch this one. There's like 106 of them looking at it. These dudes were right up here, nosed up. We gotta get to some that haven't seen me yet. Well, that was one eating it. That's why it went under. Got him. <laughs> he just went up and grabbed it, dude. This is ridiculous. Let's see if I do that again. He's on it. Got it! Oh, yeah. Oh, no. God, that was a good one. A little bit better than the quality we've had so far today, huh, Cole? No kidding. Jesus. Ever cast so far? Look yeah. Them out there. Oh, they're chasing. That one was just chasing a little bass. Was he? Yeah. Big Dude. bass chase little bass, and there's like 18 bass right down there. I'm mad I lost that one. Jungle! Where am I? I'm lost, Cole. I lied, that's the juice up there. Ooh, it's a big one up there. You're just gonna let it get away like that? You're just gonna wet list your mouse swim away from your mouth? Oh, I can see him still. Here he comes. <laughs> Bitch ass little bass. 
the amount of fish right now you could catch on a stick worm or something like a six cents clout is ridiculous guys we're having followers constantly they're just swimming up and down the creek here unfortunately only a couple that have committed but we're hoping we get back up here way in the shade there'll be a few more that'll bite i think they will putting on noisy dick all right we're swirly twirling and chasing the damn nazuma rat it's a big black rat doesn't look like much just pure black with a pink tail sometimes drives them crazy but not today apparently though a lot of following going on so we're gonna put on more natural bait generally a place where i'd throw my slammer but this time i'm putting on a noisy dick first time ever throwing this hurt it's freaking juice but we'll see okay i see why they call it noisy that's a clacky little some bitch <laughs> okay now it's gonna be a fun bait to throw well, that's a bad dude i see why tactical bassin talks about it and tries to keep it on the do sea cool frogs are a myth <gasps> I got him right here. <laughs> oh, I watched him. I went, I went. <laughs> that was so sick. Oh my God, that was fantastic. My first fish on the old noisy dick. This thing looks badass. I'm kind of glad it had these little hooks on there. The little decoy quad trebles. Kind of a weird looking treble guy you guys never seen those before but it's like a treble with four guys just more points which can cause more points more problems sometimes but this guy followed it right to the bank a little creek fish came up and blasted her get him back all right that was so cool did you see that one cole yeah that was dude he was on the bank right in front of me looking at it he just i don't know that's cool he just ambushed it right into the side of the bank which is what they do a lot of times I about was going to say, well, we need to take that off. There's too many trouble hooks for all this grass. And then he went kerplow. Some bitch is loud. I love it. It doesn't even matter that you don't even need to swim it from the start because it's f***ing clacks so quick. I'm going to go down here right quick. I'll be back. Catch a couple. Not a bite. It's kind of funny though. I did build a school of like six to 12 inch bass right in front of me from all of them. They just kept falling it to the same spot over and over, hanging out. I think I could probably get one more on this guy up by the waterfall. Yeah. Rip one right here, maybe. They haven't seen the dicks here. Came up and smashed it. I don't know how he didn't get hooked. Oh. So many. How's our route looking? About to like a poop. Yeah, once we get up to that bare side over there, we can go through easy. All right, toss me your camera. My dick's caught something. Yeah, I don't even know if there's fish in this. 
well, no, no gigantors, but we did have a good time. We caught a lot of fish out here, and it just goes to show, even for you guys that live in the middle of these freaking cities right now, which can be a terrible place to live right now, you can even get out and fish places like this, sewers, urban wildlife type areas with these big topwater baits. Get out there in the middle of the freaking summer, in the middle of the day, because that's when they suck up in those shade lines. And they get bit, uh, you can get bit on baits that look like this right here. This might be one of my new favorites, the old noisy dicks it's called. I'm gonna call it that anyways, um, but I'm gonna be throwing this a lot more. If you guys like these topwater wake bait rat style videos, I'm gonna put another one from last year right up there for you guys to check out. And then of course, go subscribe if you want some more bass fishing. I put a video out almost every single day. Thanks so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this one. Out of here.